Okay, so the final thing that we need to learn on the section 2.1 is talking about the stability of a critical point, of an equilibrium point or equilibrium solutions. Now, it's a very easy concept. So, you will be able to see the physical meaning of a, a, a critical point and equilibrium solutions later in the course. Okay, so now an equilibrium solution is said to be asymptotically stable so you have an equilibrium solution let's say at y is equal to one so you have horizontal slopes if all the other slopes from all the direction from both directions come toward the equilibrium solution so that if the arrows are pointing towards the equilibrium solution from all the directions okay from both sides then you have an asymptotically stable equilibrium point that means a particle or let's say you have a point a part moving particle near the equilibrium solution maybe on the top or maybe on the bottom but where the particle moves is it moves towards the equilibrium solution no matter which side the particle is so then you are asymptotically stable okay all right then we say unstable equilibrium points let's say you have a equilibrium solution at y is equal to negative one or negative one is a equilibrium point then it's unstable from all the directions if the arrows are leaving the equilibrium solution so that means if you have a particle on either side of the equilibrium solution and when the particle moves along the arrows it moves away from the equilibrium solution always then you have an unstable equilibrium point or equilibrium solution the semi-stable is from y di one direction it's a mix of both stable and unstable from one direction the arrows comes towards the equilibrium point and the, from the other direction they moves away from the equilibrium point okay so it's a very easy concept so if you look at this differential equation we have y is equal to 1 and y is equal to negative 1 we have equilibrium solution so when y is equal to 1 it's this is the oops this is the equilibrium solution line so you can see from bottom arrows come towards and top also arrows come towards y is equal to 1 so this is a stable asymptotically stable equilibrium solution y is equal to 1 but at negative 1 if you draw the line you can see from bottom the arrows are leaving and from the top also arrows are leaving right so negative 1 is an unstable equilibrium point okay all right so let's look at a semi-stable example too so here we have a slope field and we have equilibrium solutions y is equal to 1 y is equal to 2, y is equal to 3, right, if you make it equal to 0. So, let's look at y is equal to 1. So, when y is equal to 1, here you can see you have horizontal slopes, but from top you can see arrows are leaving, right, but from bottom arrows are coming towards. So, this is a semi-stable equilibrium solution, y is equal to 1. But y is equal to 2, here, horizontal slopes now here you can see the arrows are leaving from top and arrows are leaving the equilibrium solution from the bottom right so y is equal to 2 is an unstable equilibrium solution now y is equal to 3 oh i think i just discussed about y is equal to 3 this is y is equal to 3 line right yeah, so I made a mistake there, sorry. So I y is equal to 3 is unstable. I didn't locate 3 and 2 very well. So my eyes are bad. So y is equal to 2. This is the y is equal to 2 line. Okay. So from top, you can see arrows are coming towards, right? From bottom also, arrows are coming towards this blue line. So y is equal to 2 is a stable equilibrium solution. So that is how you decide asymptotically stable unstable and semi-stable equilibrium solutions there are physical meanings we will learn that uh, when we talk about applications of differential equations okay all right thank you